He's Phoebe Head, who lives in Perth, making super videos for all his work. His channel is great, he's a good mate with Bella, of Feral Southern Head. G'day, beer lovers. It's our old mate again here. VB Head. G'day, beer lovers. How's it going? <laughs> hey, in Australia, there's a very popular YouTuber called Graham, and his channel is called Graham and Friends. Everyone knows Graham. Graham's been around for years. Now, lately, Graham has been making a series of videos about the two Australians that are about to be executed in Indonesia for heroin trafficking. Now, there's details to uh, Graham's channel and the videos that I'm referring to in the beer box below. Okay. Now, for the benefit of my overseas subscribers, I'll briefly recap the history so you know what the fuck we're talking about. Okay. Now, 10 years ago, the Australian Federal Police tipped off the Indonesian police that nine young Australians were in Bali and were in possession of heroin and it was the, their intention to smuggle that heroin back to Australia strapped to their bodies on a flight back to, Perth, back to Australia. Now, the Indonesian police arrested them and the whole court process has been done 10 years ago and as a result of it, there were nine Australians, they're called the Bali Nine, so they're referred to as the Bali Nine, eight blokes and one female. Now, one of them got 20 years imprisonment, six of them got life imprisonment, and two of them, they were the two ringleaders, they were Andrew Chan and Maurun Sukumaran, they received the death penalty by firing squad. It's now 10 years on, and Ch Ch Andrew Chan and Maurun Sukumaran have gone through the entire appeal process and now they're about to face the firing squad. Now according to Graham via his character Ted, the two ringleaders are just fucking scum and they should just be shot. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue, just shoot them already, shoot them. Why waste money on these criminals? Just shoot them. Just shoot them. They're drug smuggling scum. Scum. They're ringleaders. Scum. Shoot them. Shoot them, I say. Now, I want to stress right now that I am not a Christian. Never have been. However, on this particular issue, I feel compelled to embrace the Christian philosophy of compassion and forgiveness. I cannot swallow the death penalty at all. No fucking way, I just can't do it. And I, and I feel as though the death penalty should only be reserved for really evil fuckers, you know, like murderers and rapists, you know, people that lack empathy towards others. Okay, now Chan and Sukumaran committed their crime when they were just 20. They are now 30. And they have spent a third of their life in prison on death row in Indonesia. In the last 10 years, the two of them have totally rehabilitated themselves. Now Chan has become a born again Christian and he conducts Bible study classes in this prison in jail. And Sukumaran has become a very talented artist and he teaches other inmates in Bali you know, how to paint. And both of them also have done a lot of work with the other inmates in helping them to rehabilitate their lives. So the two of them have gained a lot of respect in prison, both from the inmates and from the prison authorities themselves. And I just think it's just so fucking unfair to ex execute these two guys after 10 years, after the, after, and, and during that 10 years, they've totally rehabilitated and become different people. I just think it's just so immoral to execute them now. 
Now some people are just cold blooded and heartless. Like fucking Ted. A lot of people call themselves Christians, but they don't know how to embrace Christianity's basic theme of compassion and forgiveness. These people are complete fucking hypocrites. And in my eyes, they aren't Christians at all. No fucking way. Everyone who lacks compassion for Chan and Sukumaran are all angels themselves, aren't they? Yeah, have a, people that judge others should look seriously at themselves first. You know, as written in the Bible, he who's without sin throw the first stone, okay? Now, I wonder whether the lack of compassion by Australians such as Ted is because of their heritage. You know, Chan and Sukumaran don't exactly look like typical Australians, do they? They don't have typical Australian names. You know, I'm wondering, this is part of it. You know, Chan's heritage is Chinese, and Sukumaran's heritage is Sri Lankan. You know, has that got something to do with people's lack of compassion for these two blokes? I won't accept this bullshit that people, that people are saying out there to justify their lack of compassion that we need to respect the laws of Indonesia. They believe that Chan and Sukumaran should die because they knew that they faced the de death penalty if they got caught. Fuck that. Why the fuck should we do that? Okay? That's like saying that we should respect the fucking laws of Saudi Arabia. You know, the most bullshit society on earth. Over there, you know, adulterers, gays, and people that convert from Islam to Christianity are beheaded. You know, and couples caught kissing in the streets are flogged and jailed. And people caught drinking alcohol face the same fate. And that's on top of their fucking laws which bans women from driving cars and, and going out in public by themselves. You know, I don't respect their laws and I don't respect Indonesia's laws either. Come on, Ted. Another bullshit argument to justify people's lack of compassion for this, for this duo in Bali is that if the heroin actually made its way back to Australia, then it would have killed many people in, in Australia via overdoses of that fucking heroin shit, okay? But you think about it. Does this, does this also mean that we should punish the owner of a liquor outlet who sells alcohol to a drink driver who killed someone? It's no different. You think about it. Just that one's legal, one's illegal. That's the only fucking difference. Now, you know, don't get me wrong, I don't believe in going soft on drugs. I believe in legal deterrence. You know, drug traffickers, jailing drug traffickers for life, if you, if you wish, that's okay. But I just cannot accept the death penalty. It is too harsh a punishment. Well, that's my view on the matter. What do you guys reckon?